Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, I have the honor to present to you Mr. Hank Jan Baker, Ambassador Designate of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Excellency, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, it is with great pride and pleasure that I present to you today my credentials and convey to you the personal greetings of my King, Willem Alexander. Kenya and the Netherlands have enjoyed diplomatic relations since 1964, the year of my birth. Our diplomatic license plates reveal that we were among the first group of countries to establish diplomatic relations with Kenya. The world has changed a lot since then. In the early years, the focus was very much on development cooperation. Today, that element is still there, but our attention has shifted considerably to trade and investment. This is a reflection of the remarkable economic development of Kenya during the past decades. More than 150 Dutch companies are present in Kenya, creating tens of thousands of jobs, and we are in the top three of your trading partners. So if the CD plates were a reflection of the trade volume, we would have number two or three. Also in other fields, our ties are strong. We work together on political and security issues, on climate change, including smart agriculture, integrated water management, and renewable energy. Many Kenyans are alumni from Dutch universities, having benefited from our scholarship programs. And coming back to the recent Olympic Games in Paris, which were so successful for both our countries, many Kenyan athletes have Dutch managers who ensure that they can focus completely on their sports. And on the other hand, many Dutch athletes come to Kenya to train at altitude. Your Excellency, when last year I had to hand in my preferences for my next posting, Nairobi was number one, two, and three on my list. And my superiors were kind to me. So I am very happy to be here, and I look forward to working with you and your government to further strengthen the excellent relations between our two countries. Asante sana. Rebecca, good morning. Welcome to Nairobi. Welcome to Kenya. I wish you well. Congratulations on your appointment. And I look forward to working with you. I, William Samuel Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, by dint of Article 132.4b of the Constitution of Kenya, do accept your letters of credence and authorize your Excellency, to pursue the interests of your government within Kenya by fostering the bonds of friendship and promoting to the widest sense possible within the law the mutual aspirations of the people of our two nations and hereby enlarge relations to an all new level. And listening to you, Ambassador, I think we are up to a very good start. Again, welcome to Kenya, Sun Sun.
Ambassador Designate of the Republic of Cote d'Ivoire. He holds a master's degree in geography as well as a certificate of teaching aptitude for secondary school education from the Higher Normal School in Abidjan. He is married and a father of four children. Mr. President of the Republic of Kenya, it is a great honor for me to present to you today the letters of recall for my predecessor, Ambassador Yapi Kofi Everest, and the letter of credence by which your friend and brother, His Excellency Alassane Watra, President of the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire, accredits me as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of Côte d'Ivoire to the Republic of Kenya with residence in Ethiopia. Excellency, Mr. President, I would like to count, to count on your invaluable support in the accomplishment of my mission alongside the government and the bravery people of Kenya. Asante sana. Ambassador Enio, congratulations on your appointment. You Welcome to the Republic of Kenya. Thank you, I wish you well, you. and I look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. of the Republic of Mali. Children. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, I have the honor to present to you Dr. Mado Diallo, Ambassador designate of the Republic of Mali with residence in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Your Excellency, Mr. President, I would like to thank you to thank the government and the people of Kenya for the remarkable welcome and hospitality that I and my delegation benefit since our arrival in the African soil of Kenya. I would, like, I would like to transmit to you the fraternal and cordial greetings, as well as the appreciation of His Excellency Colonel Asimi Guita, President of Transition Head of State, the government and the people of Mali for Kenya's efforts in achieving African unity. I salute the excellent friendly relations and successful cooperation that exist between the sisters republics of Mali and Kenya. I commend President William Ruto for his positioning as the voice of Africa, particularly in the issues of climate change and African integration. It's in this perspective that I have the great honor to present to you the recall letters of my predecessor and that by which His Excellency Colonel Asimi Guita, President of the Transition Head of State, accredited me as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary Designate of the Republic of Mali to the Republic of Kenya. Thank you very much. 
Ambassador Diallo, welcome to Kenya. Congratulations on your appointment. Thank you very much. My very best wishes as you undertake your duties. Okay. And I look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, I have the honor to present to you Mr. Mirko Guglietti, Ambassador Designate of the Swiss Confederation. Mr. President William Samuel Ruto, it's my honor to present to you the compliment of my government and of the Swiss people directly to you and through you to the Kenyan people. I'm delighted to come back to Kenya 10 years after my, my, my uh, previous posting as the Deputy Head of Mission in Nairobi. And I'm pleased to witness the positive evolution of our bilateral relations. Among the recent highlights is the visit of our Foreign Minister Ignacio Cassis in March in Nairobi to celebrate the 60th anniversary of our bilateral relation in your visit to Switzerland, in your participation in the summit on peace in Ukraine this last month of June. It is my sincere hope that I shall succeed in my endeavors to further promote the friendship and the excellent relation that exists between our two countries. In doing so, I would, I would like to give priority to, to three areas. Promoting trade. For Switzerland, Kenya is an important and promising economic and trading partner. Swiss companies already have a strong ties in Kenya with about 60 companies with a link to Switzerland, both multinationals, as well as small and medium-sized enterprises. Together, we should intensify our ties by actively promoting bilateral trade relations and further adapting the framework conditions. A key step in this process is the conclusion of the double taxation agreement which will make the Kenyan market more attractive to Swiss companies. The third round of negotiation is scheduled for the next week here in Nairobi. Second priority will be climate change. I want to congratulate you for hosting the African Climate Summit last year which underlines the important role that Kenya is playing in this field. We hope to conclude soon an Article 6 agreement under the Paris Agreement in regard to carbon offset and mitigation of global emissions in Kenya. With this partnership, our countries demonstrate the commitment to work together to mitigate climate change. Our cooperation will benefit the global climate as well as Kenya and Switzerland. The cooperation will increase investments in climate action in green technologies in Kenya. 
The third priority will be the enhancing of multilateral cooperation. Switzerland and Kenya share on a global level and in Africa in particular many common interests in the realm of peace and stability. I will continue to support our close partnership with the International Peace Support Training Center. This strong cooperation is underlined by the next visit of the Director of the IPSTC, Brigadier Joyce Sitenei, to Switzerland in September. As Geneva and Nairobi are both important UN headquarters, we believe cooperation in the multilateral sphere can be further strengthened. I'm happy to deepen the dialogue in, on host country policies and to learn from each other together. We were pre very pleased to support last year's visit of the Director General of the United Nations Office in Nairobi to Geneva and the Director General of the United Nations Office in Geneva this year here in Nairobi. The two Director Generals visiting each other for the first time is a clear sign of the strengthening with this ties between Geneva and Nairobi. I'm confident, Mr. President, that the friendly relations between our two countries will continue to thrive with many opportunities for further collaboration. It is now my honor, Your Excellencies, to present you the letter of retreat of my predecessor, Ambassador Valentin Zellweger, and to present my own credentials. I, William Samoe Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, by dint of Article 132.4b of the Constitution of Kenya, do accept your letters of credence and authorize Your Excellency to pursue the interests of your government within the territory of Kenya by fostering the bonds of friendship and promoting to the widest sense possible within the law the mutual aspirations of the people of our two nations and thereby enlarge our relations to levels merited. Your Excellency, welcome. Congratulations on your appointment and I look forward to working with you.